open on Christian Weston Chandler driving his 1994 Ford Escort Sanju. As he thunders down the highway, we see a look of grim determination etched on his face. I am rushing at the maximum speed limit of 65 miles per hour, he thinks, traveling over 100 miles to rescue my sweetest Casey from that lying copycat, Chris. I want her to be happy, and I have treated her with more TLC respect and understanding than he has, and I know that he can never truly treat her right. Chris parks his car in front of a small house. In the back is a broken down red car on cinder blocks. Boldly, Chris enters through the front door and makes his demands. Chris, get your hands off of Casey, you damn dirty troll. She left you and came to me on her own free will. She is mine now, so let her be. Inside the house, we see Casey, a woman in a green shirt. In front of her stands her captor, a man also named Chris. However, his shirt is a sinister brown color, and instead of Christian's green and blue eyes, his are a menacing red. He has no Sanchi medallion, but instead brandishes a knife. Thank God, says Casey. Christian, help me! No, cries the brown-shirted Chris. I will have her. Alive! I'll skin you alive, Christian! With a murderous rage, the evil brown-shirted Chris lunges for our hero with his knife, but with his awesome speed, Chris dodges his attack and comes around behind the knife-wielding villain. Chris grabs the evil Chris's arms behind his back, forcing him to drop the knife. He then kicks the brown-shirted Chris in the back, sending him to the floor. Though his enemy has clearly been defeated, Chris takes no chances and draws a 9mm pistol on his helpless opponent. Before the brown-shirted Chris can even plead for mercy, Chris fires two shots aimed at the shins of his adversary. Ow! cries the brown-shirted Chris. He clutches his legs in agony as blood begins to pour from the twin wounds. You'll live, says Chris with a sadistic smile, but never impersonate or lie that greatly ever again. Later, at Casey's house, we find Christian presenting Casey to her family. Yo, Christian, says Casey's brother, a United States Marine. Thanks for rescuing my sister from that crazy Samba. Yes, my boy, you have done a great service for my daughter, adds Casey's father, also a Marine. I salute you, good sir. I would have had my boys at the office hunt that creep down for the safety of my big girl, says Casey's mother. Thank you. Wow, Casey, you sure can't pick out a hot man, says Casey's sister. In comparison, that other guy was a geeky twerp. And then, Chris and Casey celebrate her safe return with a passionate kiss.